Hello traders, it's Saturday, July the 20th. This is John Kicklider, Chief Strategist for DailyFX.com. Here's a quick take uh, video on a very specific asset, trying to focus in on a particular market that has greater significance for the upcoming week. And that is going to be this uh, week, the Euro USD. Now, for most people, this is probably the height of boring uh, in terms of price action, per, people would prefer volatility. So they would look to something of exceptional back and forth uh, with a little bit more range, or perhaps they'd be looking, they'd look for something that is, let's say like the Aussie USD, uh, promising bigger movement or bigger development, like a, a inverse head and shoulders pattern reversal. But as we talked about with the Aussie USD this past week, this is probably a false bill of good. This is promising something that it can't actually deliver uh, a reversal with a trend follow through because trends aren't very popular, much less the US dollar's uh, consistent tumble is not a very high probability, nor is the Aussie dollar's rally. So rather than look for something like the Aussie USD, which just has the uh, a provocative technical picture, but not a lot behind it to actually uh, secure what it intends here, I think we should look at one of the underdogs. Uh, and even though it's quiet, I mean, if you want to measure the US dollar, or so the Euro USD, the most liquid currency across in the world, you can look at it from a couple of different perspectives. Uh, let's say the average true range. So average true range is a very uh, traditional volatility measure. Uh, this is the average true range 20 days, so equivalent of one month. All right, it is really quiet. All right, we're talking about the lowest level since summer of 2014, which we referenced a lot. That is the summer of quiet. Uh, and if you're looking at a historical range as a percentage of current spot level, this is 60 day, so same situation. But if we go up to one week, so 60 week uh, historical range, we're talking about the lowest on record. All right, so generally speaking, medium term, long term markets, and this market is really quiet. The thing is, this is going to be at the mid middle of a lot of the overlapping fundamental themes for the coming week. And while it might not necessarily give us a clean breakout, we could potentially get more of these intra-range swings, which if you are range focused and you're looking for range setups because you think the conditions are most prone to support that range, then this is probably going to be one of the better opportunities that sit within that 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 capacity, that overarching uh, theme. And the reason why is because yes, it's a struggle to actually get consistency because there's no key fundamental uh, theme that's taking charge of being bullish or bearish in an overwhelming way to most liquid currencies, obviously. Uh, but we have an, an inordinate number or amount of scheduled event risk of very principal themes. Uh, if you're talking about uh, uh, general themes, there are three that I think are of considerable uh, merit. Now, scheduled event risk, economic activity. So economic activity is going to have some key event risk on Wednesday, European and U.S. PMI. So this is PMI for July. This is a good proxy for GDP, and it's timely. All right, that's coming out on Wednesday, and obviously it's on, uh, on the, essentially the same overall day. But since there's also a, a US GDP figure for the second quarter on Friday, whatever we get out on Wednesday, unless it is really extreme and, and definitive, it's probably going to be a uh, wait and see, especially for the US dollar, uh, as we wait to see Friday's GDP, the official statistic from the government. So it's volatility without much in the way of hope for charge or consistency. Now, there's another theme that we need to be mindful of, monetary policy. The Fed's back and forth this past week has had enormous implications for short-term volatility, hence why the dollar had a substantial reversal of course. All right, a lot of Fed speak leading to a significant amount of price response. Well, the Fed rhetoric is definitely going to be ringing in our ears next week, but we also have an anticipation of an ECB rate decision on Thursday. And while they're not anticipated to move now, there is a high probability that they give forward guidance to be more dovish in the future, particularly after the new ECB president takes their spot. So another high volatility, not uh, necessarily to the point of clear trend potential. And a third, which doesn't have very clear uh, timetable or scheduled events, but can still be a key driver of the Euro USD, is trade wars. 
So much of the trade wars have been isolated to the U.S. and China, but the back and forth between the EU and the U.S. Uh, threatening each other with tariffs, particularly the U.S. Uh, is strong on that game. Uh, this can be another source of uh, nondescript volatility, so volatility out of the blue, uh, so more difficult to trade, but still volatility nonetheless. So key, three key themes that have been champions of market movement, but also uh, positioned in such a way to prevent clear trend. So the euro USD, while not very good at say, staging for a trend, but it's possible one of those themes takes serious charge. But more likely, we're going to see some enormous amounts of volatility here, and that could play out to some opportunity. All right. We'll wrap it up here. We'll do our next quick take video next week. And until we talk again, I wish you all good luck trading out there, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.